everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the Cache OS March 2025 release. This update brings a host of new features and improvements that aim to boost hardware support and overall system performance. Let's break down what's new. Bootloader Enhancements One of the major changes in this release is the introduction of a new bootloader, Limino. Unlike previous setups, Limin supports both BIOS and UEFI modes, and even offers customizable theming similar to Grub. An exciting addition is its direct support for BTRFS snapshots. This feature is enabled by default for all installations using BTRFS, making system recovery easier and more reliable. Improved system services and drivers. CACHIOS has also added a new package called CACHIO Samba Settings. This tool simplifies the process of setting up Samba, responding to user requests for a more straightforward network file sharing solution. On the graphics side, following discussions with NVIDIA, the GSP firmware for the closed source kernel module has been re-enabled. Recent improvements mean that the firmware now works much more efficiently than before. For hardware enthusiasts, the kernel now includes support for the ASUS Armory Driver Essential for fan and power management on devices like the ROG Ally and Select laptops. Additionally, while the NTFS 3 kernel driver had been made the default for NTFS partitions in an earlier update, it's now reverted to user choice after reports of compatibility issues, Wine and compatibility improvements. The update also brings changes to Wine packages. Cache OS now includes a customized Wine build that leverages WoW 64, reducing dependency on lib32 libraries. Both Wine and Wine staging now default to NT-Sync instead of Wine Sync, which should lead to noticeable performance improvements when running Windows applications. Hardware and software updates. Hardware support has been expanded to include the latest RDNA 4 graphics, as well as new NVIDIA GPUs like the RTX 5070Ti and 5070. This means out-of-the-box compatibility when you install from the updated ISO. The update doesn't stop there. The system packages have also seen an upgrade. Key updates include Kernel, Linux Cachios, 6.14.0, Graphics, NVIDIA, 570.133.07 and Mesa 25.0.2. Desktop environments, GNOME 48 and Plasma 6.3.3 development tools, Linux API headers and Linux tools at version 6.14.0 fixes and manual adjustments. There are also important fixes in this release. The CRC32C Intel module, which was automatically added by Mekanitsipayo on Intel systems, has now been removed. If you're running an Intel CPU, you should update your configuration manually. 1. Open slash etc slash mkinitcpio.conf with your favorite text editor. 2. Remove the CRC32C Intel entry from the modules section. 3. Regenerate your initramps with sudo mkinitcpio p. Additionally, fixes have been applied for T2 MacBook users regarding the BRCMF Mac driver, and the legacy NVIDIA 390XX driver is no longer installed on laptops due to compatibility concerns. Conclusion, in summary, the Cache OS March 2025 release focuses on enhanced hardware support, improved system performance, and user-requested features like the Samba settings package. Whether you're a gamer looking for better graphics support or a developer needing a stable environment, this update has something for you. If you're an existing user, be sure to check the manual changes and update your configuration as needed. For everyone else, the update is as simple as running sudo pacman s y u. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody, and don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.